Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. But we'll worry about that on the morrow, we won't worry about that right now, we need to bring you in here. I can't sell any milk today. We've got 99,000, we've got 100,000 litres of milk and current price for milk, 2,048 would be our best price, except that we, we can't use it, right? We can't use any milk whatsoever, uh, sell any milk. Because the truck drivers, selfishly, want to have a home life. They want to see their family, their kids, things like that. I think it's absolutely disgusting. And if I had my way, I wouldn't let them do it at all. But uh, I don't make the labor laws. And um, unfortunately, I do have to let them have some time off. So we're not going to be able to sell our milk until tomorrow. Um, no, I'm really, not the, I'm really not that bad. I know I spend my time ranting about the workers and um, them wanting to go home and things like that. I'm I, I really not that bad in real life. Like, I, I wouldn't expect people to do that sort of thing. I do sometimes wonder if uh, if people take me seriously when I'm busy saying all these things. I sort of think, well, if you haven't learnt by this point that don't take anything I say too seriously, then you're probably on the wrong channel. <laughs> you, like, don't take me seriously. Like, uh, uh, although I, I don't get many comments um, from people who appear to have taken me seriously. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, taking me seriously is not a thing that many people would ever make the mistake of doing. Because uh, quite frankly, that would be a mistake. Uh, you don't don't take me seriously. It's it, it's it's just sheer ridiculousness. It, it really is. Now we'll bring you whizzing in around here. I tell you what, we've actually got all those straw bales. Kind of wondering if we should do something to get those straw bales out of there. It'd be quite cool to be able to remove them completely because then after the harvest, I'm kind of hoping we can run two combines this harvest. So getting a second combine up and running would be nice. And then we've got a shed over there that we could put both the combines in. And I think that would be a pretty cool thing to have as well. We'll see. We will wait and see about that. I want to keep those lights on because we haven't finished yet. I'll bring you in round there, and then that one goes over on this side. Parks back into that side there. And then I can go and get the other one, and I park that one back in. So you go there like that, so that you're under cover, so that straw stays nice and dry. And then this one here. Now, I am not going to have enough in the way of canola on this trailer. And I don't think canola is going to be ready to harvest until autumn. Which means that we are definitely going to be cracking into some of the other crop in order to properly feed the pigs. So we'll just put in some food here for the chickens. The chickens take a surprising amount of food as well. Uh, it is actually a little bit surprising just how much the chickens do require. So then we come from mosey on over this way. And I'm kind of liking the idea of putting the pigs over there. Uh, we don't have to have all of the pens right close to each other. We're going to have the cattle pens fairly close to each other so it's not going to hurt to have the pig pens just slightly further apart I think that's going to be okay and out goes that bit and then I switch over to you we're we going to put 792 liters in here we are indeed that is all of the canola that is all tip it's saying it's got a little tiny bit in there the game is actually saying that there is a small quantity left inside there. that's why it's still saying tip canola despite the fact that it is empty and it's kind of weird the way it does that. It really is. Okay, we bring that one in there and I can start tipping that. Fortunately, though, when you're below, I think it's below 5% of the total capacity of any trailer, it does actually change over and um, it will automatically change to whatever crop you're putting into it. So if you've got less than 5% of your trailer, and it's wheat, and then you try and put some corn in there. It will just change what you've got to corn. I think it's 5%. I'm hoping it's 5%. Uh, it definitely does do it with a low percentage. So it may maybe I've got the actual number a little bit wrong, but it does definitely do it. So canola is now out. Um, oats, we've got 682 litres in there. Now that's going to be above 5%. But what I was kind of hoping is that like, we've got sunflowers and we've got beans beans sell from actually now is the time to sell beans we got 14,000 liters of beans it's not a great deal but this is the right time for selling beans before we go any further um i'm gonna go here 
And here, this is the, the ones I'm looking for. Soybeans. We've actually gone past the high point of 3,687 per thousand liters for beans. 2,700 right there. 788 grain elevator east. That's probably the best price. But there's only 14,000. I think I will just use them up because I don't have beans growing. We've got no beans. And I don't know if I've even got beans in my rotation plan. I did have a rotation plan, but that now seems to have gone by the wayside. Does anybody remember what our rotation plans were? I can't remember now. I've got no clue. I, I don't remember what they were. I know that we, we did wheat. Did we do wheat first? No, we did barley first on one of them. And now second crop, I've got canola coming in. Canola over there. So I had barley followed by canola. I've got corn. One of them was all grass. We can we, we know that that one was just grass going through. It would have been quicker if I'd gone the other way, wouldn't it? Yeah, grass, right. One of them was just grass going through like that. Yeah, there. So that that, that one's easy. Uh, then I've got two new fields. I've got sunflowers on one of them. I think it's actually quicker to go this way to it. Grass, poplar, sugar beet, potatoes, corn, soybeans, sunflowers. I've got corn. And I've actually got corn twice in a row. Because I think this was the same rotation that I was going to use. Sunflowers, corn, followed by another round of corn. And yes, I've got corn twice on that field over there. We've got barley and canola. So let's just come out of there a minute. I need to run over to this field over here. And I need to find out what we had in there. Because I don't remember what I had before this one. This one here, we've got previous was grass. And before previous was... Uh, well, that was oil seed there, but that was just because it was that little tiny bit. That one doesn't matter. It's this field over here. This is what we want. So we had grass and then fallow. So this is the first time that we've planted in here, which is barley, which is the same as that one up there. So uh, that rotation is correct because we only had the one field, didn't we? So we've got barley followed by canola. And then I can't remember what I was going to do. So we, we've got barley. We've got oats. I've got canola growing at the moment. Um, so we don't want that again. We don't want another oil seed because that gives a, a hit on there. We could go for the legume. We could go for the soybeans. I I, I just don't remember what I was going to put in this field now. I definitely wasn't going to do grass. Now, if I was to do wheat... We go barley, canola, wheat. And then we come down here and we put canola in. That goes for 1.14. So this is like a cereals field, really. Uh, oh, no, that's cotton. That's a grass. Cereals in here. That reduces that one down if that one's canola. If I can go to sunflowers and that's going to give us much the same kind of reaction to it. And soybeans increases the yield on these two. Soybeans is always 0.95. I've noticed that. It doesn't seem to matter what you do. Soybeans is always 0.95. That'll boost those up if I put the corn in there. Put the legume in. Boosts these nicely. Maybe we'll do that. We'll go with soybeans in there. And then we we'll go for the a fifth year on here. What can we get if we do a fifth year on this one? Um, I could do some more canola. I could go with sunflowers on there. So that's 1.2, 1 1.2, 1 1.08, and 1.14. And then 0 0.95 for the soybeans. I'll try something like that. Sunflowers, two lots of corn in there. I do not remember what I said I was going to do on this one next after this. We do need a good supply of corn coming in. I don't want to do cotton. Absolutely don't remember what I had set up before for, for doing this. Um, so if I go with soybeans on there for a, like a cash crop situation, I've got the second round of corn coming in on one of these fields. So that's going to be a lower yield this time round, obviously. And sunflowers, that's a cash crop and can feed the pigs, although I'm hoping that canola is going to be enough to feed the pigs. And then we got the soybeans, which... 
just boosts everything else, doesn't it? That that gives everything else a higher yield. Drop back to sunflowers again. I could do a second round of that because they, they do make a decent bit of money. Hmm. It's really... It's a choice between sunflowers, I think, or soybeans. I'm kind of thinking soybeans. I'll go with that for a minute. That that seems like it would be reasonable, and I won't do any more than that. I'm hoping that the crop rotation... I've noticed this a couple times. I, I get some... I, I Whether I update... It might have just been transferring over to this new PC that caused me to lose that particular set of crop rotation, but I have noticed the crop rotation does tend to disappear every now and then. Just occasionally, entire crop rotation vanishes and I don't have it there available to look at anymore, which is a bit disappointing. I've got just enough there to tide me over until tomorrow. And then the rest of it, yeah, that, that'll be fine, that'll be fine, that'll be absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about that. Let's, let's, let's not get hung up on too many details. So I want to go into here and I want to skip the night like that and we will sleep. And then... We lose a little bit more money overnight. So I don't know what these expenses are that we're losing. We're definitely losing some stuff. Not masses of it, but we're down to minus 15,000. It does, it like, it ticks along a little bit, doesn't it? Now, you in here, you've got a half a day's worth. You have got a half a day's worth. 382 pigs now. Pigs are coming along. How are we for weights on pigs? The adult pigs are 217 kilos. We've got some that are up to 50. But that's it at the moment. So we would want a minimum of 100 kilos before we start selling pigs. That's what I reckon on. And for the cattle, how long are they going to take? Standard weight for a cow is 566 kilos, and the young stock, we're now over 100 kilos on some of these. They're not doing too bad. I got that one there is a half a year old, newborn still, it's saying. Uh, but that is 130 kilos almost, and then these, yeah, all, all the rest of them are less than that. So the others are a little bit less. That's fine. 142,000 litres of that right there. Let's go and have a look. How is the milk doing? 2128 over there. Right, well, we got some reasonable prices for milk. So I will start fast-forwarding time. We will hopefully remember to stop before it gets too late. It's now late summer, so in theory, I should also be able to go and do some more. We've got weeds coming through on the grass fields. We're not going to worry ourselves about those. And we've got growth coming through on here. So that one there. Uh, also, I do want to just go back and make sure that grass is not... Ah. Uh. Right. So grass is ready to harvest, which means that we've missed our window for um, putting fertilizer on the grass. So the only fertilizer that we can apply is via this one onto the other field. So what I'm going to do... So we want to go to field four, and I do want to get that out. I'm going to go over to here like this, and I'm going to unload all of that. Then I'm going to go over this way. I'm going to put a little bit in, not very much, of liquid fertilizer. You round this way and refill liquid fertilizer like that. Oh! Well, that's not very helpful. I have no money, so I cannot buy the liquid fertilizer. I'll turn you around so that you're ready and waiting. I will be able to have some money in just a minute. We need to sell the milk. But I wanted to fast forward time a little bit before I did that. So that I've got a bit more available. So let's bring you over that way like that. And I'll just park you up there for a minute. You're all good to go. Everything else is good to go. That fertilizer sprayer is not going anywhere, so I can go and get the John Deere, and I'll get that one hooked on to the plow. I don't remember where this John Deere came from. I think this one was actually a um, mod that is no longer downloadable. Because I've heard a few people asking. I do get people watching older episodes that want to know where this John Deere came from. Pretty sure this is actually now a mod that the link has expired. And I don't know where else you'd find it. So you will, unfortunately, I can't give you a link for this one at the minute. So you'll have to go and do a bit of Google Foo and see if you can find it yourself. Um, 
is out there somewhere, I'm sure of it. It will be out there somewhere, but I don't know uh, where you would find it. So, and I don't want to, like, provide a link that is not an approved link. Why am I going so slow? Uh, that's because of course play. Let's speed that up again. Course play left my tractor running slowly. There. Okay, we speed that up a little bit more. I'm going to need... No, well, I don't need to go and get a sunflower header because I've got a corn header and you can use corn header to do it. So I'm all right as far as the header is concerned. I'm just kind of hoping I don't need to worry about anything else. Now, if I do this, I bring this out, I remember that it uses the center of the tractor for the edge of the field. I believe. It doesn't use the edge of the machine, it uses the center of the tractor or something like that. I can't exactly remember how it does it. It was complicated. I remember it being complicated, so I think the easiest and safest thing for me to do is to simply plow a line all the way around the edge, and then I can just use that as the outside edge. And I think it will then use that as my outside edge. And that is going to be our safest option if we do that. And let's shut that down there. 1654 the reason that I desperately want to stop that right there is because I don't want to risk not being able to send this one off we've got a hundred and sixty seven thousand liters of milk in there this is looking grand in here let's go and turn the grass off so yeah it's a bit unfortunate that I won't be able to put the final round of fertilizer on here that's one thing I don't particularly like about Seasons, is it does force you to have the three fertilizer stages, rather than two. Which is, I think two is a better approach. I do prefer having two. It seems to just slightly better balance than having to do the three all the time. So it would take you right there, 167, that's going to get us three and <laughs> 350,000. Look at the milk coming in. This is insane. It's genuinely insane the amount of money that we get for the milk. It really is. It is absolutely ludicrous. Uh, one thing, if I go in here and we go to settings, seasonal, crop moisture, snow mode, no. There isn't an option to change down the amount of fertilizer. And I do remember one of the people who um, works on the code on seasons, um... I do remember them saying that they didn't like the idea of being able to switch on and off certain features, like the fertilizer and, and other bits. They they wanted to have the fewest number of optional extras as possible. So like the fertilizer, you can't choose one, two, or three. Uh, because, and I quote, this is not an arcade simulator they're trying to build. They're trying to build an actual, more realistic farming simulator. And whilst I think that's great, the bit that I like, the, the, the bit that I wasn't keen on was, yeah, I, I, I kind of get this bit about the arcade thing. Um, you know, it, 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 it is kind of like an arcade game where you can switch on and off all the different features. But that's actually what a lot of people want. A lot of people want arcade options. They, they don't want to be forced into a particular style of gameplay. And that is what Seasons does. Seasons does force you into a particular style of gameplay um, without uh, because they don't have the so-called arcade options, which, I mean, I think arcade options would be brilliant so that you can literally go through and choose every setting that you want. I think that would be absolutely wonderful. Right, we want to have the sprayer up as high as it can possibly go this time. Um... I personally think that would be a wonderful thing if we could have that, but uh, we can't. Uh, that's, that's not how um, it's been set up, so let's not worry too much about it. I want to go field for spray. That's the one that we're going to need this time. I'm going to load that bad boy right there. And we're going to go into here, and we're going to start course at first waypoint like that. I'm just going to cut that one like that. Where is the first waypoint? It's a very valid point. Where is the first waypoint? The first waypoint is over here. Now, if you remember, we had a slight issue with this one last time, didn't we? 
it somehow managed to wind up right the other side of the map. And I was told by a couple of people that actually that's uh, something that they've had happen a few times with sprayers and uh, cosplay. So I was not alone with that. It's apparently a thing that cosplay does with the sprayer. And I've got it running on here. We've got 7% in the tank and the reason I've done that is because I'm hoping I can spray a bit out manually and then um, we will be able to hopefully then go and load in the herbicide and it will we won't have a load of liquid fertilizer left over somewhere but if we can't I can just sit somewhere and dump out the 660 liters so that I don't have an odd tank kicking around either. Now I am thinking it would probably be a good idea if I stayed with this one. So that it doesn't do anything particularly stupid. I mean we don't necessarily have to stay with it the whole time do we? It seems to be doing what it's supposed to do at the moment. So we'll, we'll leave that one go for a second. And we will go up here to this one. I'm not going to bother doing anything with cosplay at the minute. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to enable create fields. I'm going to low, lower that bad boy down like that. And I'm going to start driving around the field. And we're going to just mark out a rough edge of where we think this field should be. Well, I say we collectively. But technically, by the time you see this... This will all be done. It will be set in stone regardless. Uh, so I'm not marking out the edge of this one and I'm not mowing this grass. I am literally just going to be plowing all of this grass in, which I know is a little bit wasteful. I'm also not going to go too close to the edge of the field. I'm going to leave us a little bit of a gap around the edge because, quite frankly, I don't need to press that tight for space, do I? So it's not going to hurt me just to keep just back a little tiny bit just just back off a little bit from the edge give the road a little bit of personal space so it feels a little bit more comfortable because quite frankly i do tend to get right up close and personal with roads like that right there see and i, I shouldn't i shouldn't it's it's a failing of mine um i'm getting right in their faces and who knows that the roads may not like it so I, I i do need to learn to back off a little bit so i'm gonna try and do that I'm going to keep just hauling up across the field here and there. See, I'm, I'm backing off a little bit now. I'm also keeping an eye down across that field there to see if I can see anything going on. I can't see anything at the moment. Definitely don't want to get any closer than that. I need to be drifting away from that top edge. Yes, this is going to be a grass field up here. I'm not going to be doing crops. So I don't need to worry too much about the combine grounding on this dip in here this dip right here would is the worst bit for the combine but for mowers it's not going to be a problem so we are able to get a little bit closer to that cliff um but yeah certainly for combines that one's always a problem isn't it all right we know about that we've encountered issues with this before now let's go a little bit more slowly just around this bit there now bring you in there like that and that is a neat and tidy finish on the edge of that field. And I think it's a neat and tidy finish up over there as well. So we'll leave that for a minute. Gee, I'm just going to lower that down. Have I still got allow create fields going? No, I have turned off the allow create fields just temporarily. So I'll leave that off. And then I'm going to dance my way down over here. And we are getting to the first turning point. So we've managed to turn that bit up there. And then we get to here. So we've done twice round on this field now. Well, one, we've, we've done once round on this field. And now it needs to turn over to here. Is it going to be able to do this turn? This is where it's going to start to get interesting. Is it does this. It sort of wiggles like this a little bit. And then it keeps wiggling. How far, how, how far are you going? See? And that's why we need to be here to rescue it. This is an ongoing issue. Ah. Right, well that ongoing issue has rescued itself. So that one's, still, that one's fine. And it's putting the fertilizer on the field. The much needed fertilizer on the field. I can't put fertilizer on there as far as I know. I will 
manually go over there and I will attempt to do a little bit of fertilizer in a minute. If you notice here that wherever you have long grass and you plow, it automatically puts in a little bit of fertilizer for you. So then you've only got to do two coats, which is quite a wonderful thing. It, it, it is absolutely not a bad thing at all. That, I don't know why it's leaving a little bit of a stripe there. So I'm not quite sure now what it's, this is what it did last time. Tried to straighten itself up so that it could come back over and get in line with that next bit there. And that is the bit that ended up having it reverse all the way across the field over that way. And that's the direction that it reversed. Kind of did some wiggling on here. So I'm going to stop that driver. And we'll go over here. We will start course at current waypoint. Next closest waypoint like that. And I'll bring you down there. And then I'm going to go drive course from here. And he's going to leave a little bit on the corner by the look of it there. Yeah, he's, he's left a little bit of a patch on the corner. Quite frankly, I don't care. If that's the only bit that it leaves, then I'm happy with that. We can we can, we can can work with it. This, this is something we can work with. It doesn't have to do every single tiny speck. As long as it gets the bulk of it done. Like we're... I tell you what, if you've got OCD, use course play because it seems to kind of, um, what's the words I'm looking for? It's, it's like it's, um, it's dampening down any OCD urges because you, you've literally got no choice. Either, you know, course play leaves so many little bits everywhere. It, it, it literally just sort of starts to damp down any effect that, um, OCD may be having on you in any way, shape or form, which is quite remarkable really so you uh, um cosplay could be marketed as an ocd treatment so, <laughs> which i think would be that would be quite an amazing thing really you could actually market this thing as ocd treatment right what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop the driver again and i'll bring him back over here in a second i do want to go and get that big bit over there because that is quite a big bit that we've left behind and i'll do that before i forget so i will put it on here and then just drive up through there like that and also that is getting rid of a little bit of that extra fertilizer that we're carting around which would be a good thing i believe that this one was the one that had us wiggling all the way across the field to the other side like it would make a lot of sense this one does seem to be the right one for it and i go into here drive course so he should just go up through there yeah i think he came down that bit and then went up through it. I, well, I've, I I don't know for certain though. We've got no real we've got no real way of knowing if that was it or not. To be honest, there is uh, like it, it it happened and it it is a bit of guesswork. I mean, we can't. Oh no, wait! Didn't wasn't I able to see? No, it was because it was herbicide. I wasn't actually able to physically see which one it definitely was. And uh, you there, that was a nice neat transition. And then he's going to run up through to the end, and then that's going to be it, and it's going to be finished. And then I don't need to worry about it anymore. So I'll let it do that, and then we can drive it over there. And then once we've done that, we can skip up to the plow up the top, and I can start that one going. That's what I'd like to do, is I'd like to get him going on the field up there. If I can generate a course and get that one happening, you have now reached the end. So we can say stop driver like that. And I can also clear the course, and we can head home. I'll let it fold up and then we'll have to unfold when we get over to the grass field. I just want to do a test spray. I don't think that you can put fertilizer onto a field once it has reached harvestable stage. Like any harv like even well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.